Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel-Templates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, dashboard templates, and uh, everything you want to learn about Excel. Okay, a lot has been going on in the media regarding the fiscal cliff, which is the U.S. federal government's uh, budget crisis and uh, tax cuts that are going to um, uh, go away. So uh, everything's being talked about the cliff and that reminded me of an area chart and a common problem people have when creating area charts. Let's take a look at this chart in Excel 2007. Um, it's got data points plotted here that we have our data up in A1 through B4. We've got January through April. We have numbers in January, February, and March, but we have a blank in April. Now when you create a chart in Excel 2007, yeah, actually uh, it creates it and it looks it like this for you. Uh, it's got a cliff here, January through March. This is great. People like this. There's no data point in April, so let's not connect anything. Now there is a bug or a fix that they've applied in 2010, but in 2007 what happens uh, is when you create this area chart, you have this cliff. When you save, close the spreadsheet, and reopen it, it ends up looking like 2010 and it connects March to April and has a data point of zero right in here. So uh, let's take a look at the chart in Excel 2010. Here's the same chart. Uh, it actually has the same data points and it, the default chart in Excel 2010 connects March to April, which a lot of people don't like. They want to show just a cliff right here. They don't want it connecting to April since April has not showed up yet. Uh, and uh, um, this is ultimately what your 2007 chart looks like when you open and uh, uh, after you've saved it and reopened it, um, it creates this uh, uh, March to April data point. So let me show you how to fix that in 2007 and then also show you how to create a cliff in 2010. First we're going to start with 2007. 2007 what I want to do is I want to highlight my data range January through April. I've got a blank there for April data point and I want to go up to my insert ribbon, I want to do an area chart, and I want to do a 2D area chart. There it is there. Let's bring it over here so you can see it a little better. Um, now we've got our uh, chart created. It's already got our cliff. I'm going to go up and hit my save. So I've just saved this chart and now I'm going to close it. So when I come in here and I reopen this spreadsheet, Look what it does, 2007. Like I said, it has gotten rid of my cliff. Where did my cliff go and how do I get it back? Well, what you want to do is you want to select your chart. You want to go up to your design ribbon. In your design ribbon, you have this data group called, and you have a select data button. This will bring up your select data source dialog box. And down here at the very bottom, it says hidden and empty cells. We want to click on that and uh, we actually, you see it says zeros, we want to choose gaps. When I click zeros, it's going to create that slope. Gaps is going to create your cliff. Click OK twice. Look at that, our cliff has returned. Okay, so now if I hit save, close it, and then reopen it, um, look, our cliff is maintaining. Now, um, it's interesting, if, you, if I delete this chart, and then I recreate it. I'm going to highlight my data range, go up to Insert, Area, 2D Area, and I'm going to move that right over here. Let's try moving that again. Um, it looks like our cliff is there. This is 2007. I'm going to go up to my Design Ribbon, and I'm going to go to my Select Data button. I'm going to go to my Hidden and Empty Cells button. Look, it shows gaps has been chosen and zeros. If I click on OK and click on OK um, and hit save, close it down and reopen it, look at that now. It has thrown that zero uh, um, choice in there again. So even though in Excel 2007, I think this is a bug that they fixed in 2010, um, when you go up to your design ribbon, select data, hidden and empty cells, you actually have to physically check gaps. So let's start that process again. I'm going to delete the chart. Uh, I'm going to highlight my data range. Go to the insert ribbon, area, 2D area. Uh, let's move the chart over here like that. Um, if I go in and hit select data, hidden and empty cells, the default shows gaps. 
but I don't think it's really choosing it. I think it's leaving it as zeros. So what I physically do is choose gaps or zeros, then choose gaps, click on OK, OK. My gaps are still there like they were just a second ago. I'm going to save it and hit close, and I'm going to reopen it, and my gaps stay there. So in 2007, I think you have to physically choose gaps the first time. Um, so do zeros, then gaps. Even though it, the default shows that it's showing up there, I think when it saves it the first time, it saves it as zero. Um, and uh, so that's how you fix 2007. Now let's go and fix 2010. It's very similar process. So this is a chart that we've uh, created here. It has uh, got the, the default chart in 2010. It's going to show you March to April. Um, and what you want to do is go and do the same functions. Do your design ribbon, select data, hidden and empty cells, and we want to choose gaps instead of zeros. The default in 2010 is zeros. We want to choose gaps. In 2007, it looks like it shows the default is gaps. Your picture shows gaps. But in essence, when you save it the first time, it's going to do it at zeros. So you always want to come in, even in 2007, and physically choose gaps. Click on OK, OK. You now have a cliff chart instead of a slope chart uh, for this area. Uh, chart that we've created. So uh, once again, this is Steve equals true. Please visit our blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com so that you can get this and other great tutorials and products. Uh, please sign up for our blog so that you're sure to get the latest one in your inbox. Thanks very much.